I could do this entire review without saying a single word. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Did you learn a lot from that? Wow. No, I won't buy it. Nope. Go away. Nope. No. Okay, let's go. Look at that. It is hideous. Who was it that said that? Whose quote was that? Oh yeah, I remember. Said by absolutely no one ever. Oh, Betty. I'm rather excited about this. This is the brand new range from Mizuno called the JPX921. In that range, we've got the Tor, the Forge, the Hot Metal, and the Hot Metal Pro. So kicking off our videos is an iron that I can't stop staring at, the JPX921 Tor. If I stare at it for any longer, it might file a restraining order against me, <laughs> probably. So I'm hitting the four iron here, so don't think this is a seven iron and it's going a million yards. It is just a beautiful four iron. So as you probably already know, the now previous 919 range was in the bag of a major winner, a PGA Tour player that I can't really tell you the name of, I don't think. So I scrambled his name up, okay. But yeah, these are in the bag of um, Scorb Ak Piok. Scorb Ak Piok. He's like one of my favorite golfers on tour. Oh, is it too early for a four iron draw on the first tee? We'll see. The answer to that question is absolutely not. Peach. So this is probably the iron that's received the most minor adjustments in the range. Not that the 919 needed really many adjustments at all. But luckily enough, the stability frame was on the Mizuno Claws Christmas list this year. What? As an Amon 9 Tour had a lot of weight situated in the toe, this has now been spread out more around the entire iron for better stability, increased MOI in the JPX921. But removing all that mass from the toe in the 919 and spreading the love around the entire 921 iron, it's designed to make it more workable. Draw, baby, draw. And it is. It's really behaving well. <laughs> it really is. If you're going for this iron, distance is not what you require. So as you would expect, the lofts of these are still very traditional. Seven iron sitting at 34 degrees. So this iron is intended to have an increase in vertical forgiveness, which is absolute music to my ears because if I spent any more time in the bottom groove, I'd have to set up camp. I could think of worse places to be, to be fair. Oh. Seems pretty straight. So it's Mizuno, it's a tall head, it's got forged on the side of it, so straight away, that usually means it's created with a green flow forged HD 1025E mild carbon steel. So if you look at the spec sheet of this iron, you may notice that number three is missing, which I was quite upset about actually until I listened to my good friend Vosh explain that in a four year time period, Mizuno haven't created a single three iron for a tour player, which makes me think I don't need one. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Maybe not. Step away from the three iron, Brenda. No biggie, we just need a fade here. If I can fade this, there's no one in the world that can't. Did you see that? A faddy. Right there. It's very easy. Very easy to work.
Look, I can imagine that that was quite weird, but I just wanted a bit of time just to concentrate because it's just a pleasure to hit. Mizuno know how to make irons, don't they? One thing I'd say though, it seems to be a lot more forgiving than what you would expect looking at it from this angle. Like from here, from a shelf appeal, it's like, ugh, you're gonna vibrate my fingers off on a winter's day. But down at the ball, I get more of like a MMC vibe. So don't know if that's just me, it's definitely meatier than what I thought it would be. I know it's not trying to be the MB, nothing can be the MB. It is on its best behavior. No comment. And on to the negatives. Just give me a second. So this hasn't been an alternative for getting out on the course. I can't actually get out on the course at the moment. So what I thought I'd do is throw in four holes of virtual golf. So we've had the three. This is the last one, a par three. If you've got any beacons left, light it because there's about to be a hole in one. Oh, be good. Be good. Ooh, tasty. One more go. How good. How good does that feel? Mwah. Still there? Okay. There's no three iron. <laughs> There's no three iron. <sighs> so we're gonna get a few more before looking at the numbers, before then doing the all important shot shaping challenge. How workable is this thing? That's the one I flushed. Enough to bring a tear to your eye. Okay. Was that believable? 10 shots of bliss. So clubhead speed, 97 miles an hour. That number in itself tells you a story. After I've hit a distance iron review and I'm like, I want to go and bench press cars. But for something so elegant as this, I now want to go meditate on the garden. <laughs> So straight away what you'd expect with something like this is backspin and we have that 10 shots 7159 carry 190 yards total distance 191 nobody cares but the important thing is this the dispersion which is just undispersion reist yeah. it's straight it's it's not really gone very far left and right and as we know depending on the iron, I can be something, sometimes the bigger, more forgiving irons, I'm more wayward with, because I don't feel as comfortable holding the club, where something like this is music to the eyes. I want to hit it well, and I feel very comfortable over the ball. Now it's time for the shot shaping challenge. We know how important this is. All one take, can we do it? Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. If you have any questions, stick them in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them all. If you're not a part of Team Al, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. Follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. The links are below. Let's go. Bye. Okay, most of you know what this is. We get the longest iron in the set participate in the shot shaping challenge if that is what the iron is all about and this is so with this test one cut all the way through I've got to produce a high draw low draw high fade low fade straight shot as hard as possible and then a stinger to finish off can we do it all in one go without any mistakes usually not get in Well, it wasn't the highest, but it was a very nice draw. Bit heavy, still, it counts. It's trying, isn't it? Bit on the heavier side. I'm getting the shot shapes, just not the strikes. Ah. 
Turned away. I'm not going to give myself that. It's better. Still slightly heavy. So this has got a stick, it's one of those videos. Really? For the golfer that wants the tour name on the golf clubs, could be a big deal. Workable, as you can see, but it still gives that forgiving vibe. Like I say, MMC vibe, but probably better looking. Who said that? So I'm now going to uh, continue hitting them for the next week, non-stop. Cheers, guys.